This is amazing. What if you can integrate open source large language model with Task Weaver? What if you can integrate LM Studio with the code first agent framework Task Weaver? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm really excited to show you about integrating Task Weaver with open source large language model. Not only that, you'll be run completely locally on your computer. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do that. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe, click the like button and stay tuned. The first step to run open source large language model locally on your computer is by installing LM Studio. I've already covered step by step tutorial in regards to this. I've linked that in the description below. But as a summary, you should be able to download open source large language model directly by clicking the download button or by clicking the search icon on the left hand side. Then to start the server, click the local server icon here. There you choose the model. Currently I'm using Mistral. Then you can click the start server button. Now the Mistral large language model is running in this URL. It's easy to set up LM Studio on your computer and your data will be completely private. Now make sure you copy this URL. I have already covered Task Weaver step by step in another video, which I will link that in the description below. But as a quick summary, you clone Task Weaver, then navigate to the folder, create and activate the virtual environment, and pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and click enter. After you open in the VS Code editor, you should be able to see the folder structure like this. In that folder, go to the project folder, and then there will be Task Weaver config. Click that file. This is where you need to enter the URL which we just copied. I'm pasting it that there. Next API key is null and the model name is Mistral. Then finally LLM response is text. This is important. This allows us to connect to LM Studio because currently the API doesn't support JSON format. Now coming back to our terminal, type python hyphen m task weaver hyphen p dot slash project and click enter. Now we are inside task weaver. I'm going to ask print first five email numbers and click enter. At the same time, if you come to LM Studio, we can see the logs getting generated here. This confirms our task weaver is using LM Studio open source large language model. In the terminal, we can see the initial plan, generate a list of even numbers, print five even numbers, and report the result to the user. Now the planner is talking to code interpreter. Please generate a list of even numbers, print the five even numbers. The code got generated here, and it prints out the result. As simple as that. Now you are able to integrate open source large language model with Task Weaver. But one important thing to note, chat GPT versions are like this. Open source large language models are like this. Quantized version are like these. So the response you get from chat GPT will be more advanced and it will be immediate compared to a normal open source or a quantized version. Currently I'm running a quantized version. So this version can perform only small tasks. That's why I gave a simple problem to solve. But when you give advanced problem, the quantized version might fail. And sometime even the open source version might fail. I hope the open source version will reach chat GPT's standard soon. As a proof, you can see that in the terminal that the planner is still working and it's repeating its tasks. So by changing the model, you should be able to get much more immediate answers. I hope this is useful to you. I'm going to create more videos similar to Task Weaver, integrating with other open source large language model providers, creating plugins from scratch. So stay tuned. I will put all those video links in the description below. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.